Alrighty guys, good morning, Madman Mondello coming at you live from the Garden of the Rock here in beautiful Alabama. Alrighty, hope you all had a great 4th of July weekend. Hope that you didn't blow up any fingers or anything like that. And I hope that you also ate like pigs and uh, drank beer and did all those American things that uh, make America great. So, anyway, needless to say, got a few consoles here to show, alright? First one off is going to be uh, Corey Gervais. Okay, now, look. Here's the deal here, okay? Um, in the description, you'll find a link. How to, how to use your, your RGH for the first time. How to set it up. I go over everything in that video. Please click that link when you get when you get the console or before or whatever. So then that way, then, you don't have any problems setting it up for the first time on your network, okay? So anyway, we're going to show these things off here, all right? So we got Corey here. We'll fire this thing up. Uh, she's a Slim Trinity. I'm set you up right there. Okay. Let me go ahead here and let me uh, sync this controller right here. And here we go with my video again. Yep. <laughs> you gotta love that. Alright. Uh, we're booting up. Okay, we're gonna boot into Aurora. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, see what we got on here, okay? So uh, just bear with me. And, of course, you know, what's up on Alliance servers, you know, and, of course, you got your off host and your purge trial and all that kind of good stuff. So, we'll go on over here, and as you can see, we booted, we booted into Aurora. I'm going to go ahead, hit the RB button, okay, and we'll start off here. Okay, that's your original dashboard right there. We'll go through this, as you can see. Plenty of games on here for you to enjoy, including college football revamped, uh, for NCAA 14, it's version 12. It's the latest version. All right. Um, also, your hard drive size. Okay, just to show you here, the 320 gig drive. That's what you ordered. That's what you got. Okay. Now we'll go over Xbox Live Arcade. As you can see, we got a ton of arcade games on there for you to have a blast with. And then, of course, we have our homebrew section where our tools reside to blow the console up. And then, of course, we have uh, a few uh, original classic games on here for the original Xbox. And then we have our indie games. And, of course, we have our emulators, okay? And there's over 8,000 ROMs just in the emulators alone. So if you're into the vintage, old-style uh, side-scrollers and everything, it's the place to be. All right, and we'll bring this back to show off, all right? Now, we'll make sure that she's up and online. All right, and she should be. Better be. And there you are with a good KV. Hit the guide button. Over in our fifth tab, our advanced warfare cheats, BO2 cheats, ghost cheats, and modern warfare 3 cheats, so on and so forth. All right. So anyway, there you go. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. And then, of course, to disable them, hit A. To enable, hit A. They come enabled right when you start up the console, okay? We're going to bring this back here. And that's going to take us back to Aurora. All right. So pretty much you're all good to go. You got everything that you need. And, um, you know, Corey, thank you for your business, man. I greatly do appreciate it. We're shipping it off today, okay? So uh, there'll be a tracking number to follow. And, um, you know, it's going to ship off this afternoon when I take it to the post office. So it'll be all good, all right? So, Corey, thank you again, man. I greatly do appreciate it, okay? Now, turn this puppy off here. Let's get on to the next one, shall we? All right. Now, got here. Here we go. Mr. Hope Mash. Okay. Hope purchased this console off the website here. And Hope, this is yours right here. Another Slim Trinity. We'll fire it up. Okay, and then what I'm going to have to do here is I'm, gonna, of course, going to have to sync the, uh, the controller right here with this thing. There we go. As you can see, the thing boots like a beast, just like that one does. Same thing. All right. Now we're going to boot up into Aurora. You're going to pretty much have the same complement, okay, just to let you know. And uh, hopefully everything will be okay. We'll see what happens here. And she should boot up into Aurora and everything should be fine and dandy. Yep, there we go. Life is good. All right, now. All right. Now, as you can see, we booted up into Aurora. Let's see what size hard drive this is right here. All right, this is a 250 gig. Okay, yep, this is 250 gig. All right, so, anyway, all right. Start off with the dashboard, work our way through, and as you can see, Call of Duties, Black Ops 2, Gears of War series, Halo, NCAA 14, of course, 
so on and so forth, okay? Wow. Xbox Live Arcade. Myriad mind-boggling amount of arcade games, yes. And, of course, we have our homebrew section where our tools reside. And then, of course, we have, our, we have a couple classic games on here for you. And then we have our indie games. Of course, our emulators as well. We're back to show all, okay? Now, we'll make sure that this thing is up and online. We'll go to the dashboard. All right. Whoop. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I know why, too. Hold on here. We got to test the we got to test the Xbox Live connection. Probably uh HTTPX. Um listen. In dash launch. Yep. There you go. That'll do it all the time. You see that? Okay, now when that happens, this is what you do here. Okay? I'm going to make this real simple for you. All right. We'll go back here to the dashboard right here. We'll go back to Aurora. All right. And then we're going to what we're going to do is we'll go into dash launch. Now just in case this happens to you, okay? This is what you do. You head on over to the homebrew section right here. You head over to Dash Launch right here. And then you go to Network. And as you can see, these two are enabled. Okay? They need to be disabled. All right? Sometimes it does that. Sometimes this one will be enabled. That will cause a nightmare as well. You won't be able to sign in. You'll connect to live, but you won't be able to sign in. Okay? So you got to make sure all of these under Network Settings are red. Okay? And then we hit this. X to save it. B to back out. It will restart to Aurora, and then we will go ahead and we will see that we are online, okay? Just to show you. And now we should get the, uh, let's see here. Yep. And as you can see, there we are, we're back online, okay? So, needless to say, if that should happen to you, and sometimes it does, always go into Dash Launch and check those settings on your network and make sure everything is red in there, okay? So... We have our guide, all right, and then of course you have uh, disable advanced warfare, you know all the all, all the cheats and everything else, and of course there we are, and we'll go back, and we'll bring it back to Aurora, okay? Now the only reason why I said out of time was because is I just reset the uh, I reset that, so you have to restart the console in order to uh, what you call in order to get your time back. It's uh, you got 30 days on here, of course, you know. I mean, so anyway, hope listen. Thank you for your business, man. I greatly do appreciate it, okay? And uh, like I said, we're going to be shipping it off this afternoon along with Corey's, okay? So, we're done here. Now, what I'll do here. Here we go. From home connection to my past VPN. It... Tristan, I don't know if it's your VPN or not, man. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Um, message me, okay? We can figure that out, because that's weird. That's really weird. All right. Well, Mr. Mesh, you're all done. Okay. Here we go. Tyler Rozak. Okay. Tyler. Ah, okay, we're going to plug this on in here. All right, my friend. Now, you bought a fat, and here it is, okay? Jasper fat. All right. RGH 1.2 method. I'm going to fire this bitch up. All right, let's sync up the controller here. There we go. All right, now, okay. Now, uh, oh, God, I forgot to plug in the damn, oh, I forgot to plug in the LAN, damn it. All right, let me do that. Sorry about that, man. <laughs> I knew there was something I forgot to plug in. <laughs> oh, we'll restart it now. Sorry about that, brother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, now as you can see, fast booter, of course, RGH 1.2. You can't argue with that thing. That thing, I, I mean, a blind man can RGH one of these. <laughs> Thanks to Alexi and his timing files, man. The inventor of RGH 1.2, by the way, back in good old 2014. I remember when that file first came out, boy, everybody was like, holy shit. Yep, brought it back with the PLL. It was actually RGH1, but he dubbed it RGH1.2 and brought it back. All right. So anyway, as you can see, there we are. We're good to go. We're up. We're online. Okay. Now, we'll go through this thing. First off, let's see what you got here. 
Yep, you got a 250 gig drive on this damn thing. All right, life is good. All right. Now, as you can see, Xbox 360. Okay, we have our dashboard. And, of course, you have the same complement of games. Yes. Okay, and we're back. Okay, now, we'll go ahead. Xbox Live Arcade. Same thing. Your homebrew section. Your classic games. Your indie games. And, of course, your emulators. All right. Now, we'll go ahead and we'll make sure that this thing is online and ready to go. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and it better be. <laughs> yep. And there you are. Pretty much you're all good to go. All right. Now, hit the guide button. Of course. There you are. You'll have 30 days when it's done, man. Okay. So, just to let you know. All right. And as you can see, everything works. We'll bring it back. And that will take us back to Aurora, okay? And there you are. All right, so anyway, there you go, Tyler. Thank you so much for your business. And we're shipping it out today, along with the other ones. And you'll have your tracking number, all right? So, we're done there. Now, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pull this out for here, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab hold of Mr. Mitch Hodul. Mitchy, he bought the same thing. Pretty much Jasper, of course. That's the only fats that I that that I that I normally will sell. The only time I'll ever have if I'm if I have a shortage of uh, Jaspers, I'll use a Falcon V2, and I will also message the customer and tell him, "Do you want to wait on a Jasper or do you want a Falcon V2?" Okay. Uh, either way, they both run great. So you know, I mean, no problems. It's the V1s you got to look out for. Those are the ones that overheat. So anyway, here we are, Jasper. Mitch, you're good to go. Let me plug. Wait a minute. Almost forgot. Yeah. There we are. Okay. Gotta plug the Ethernet cable in. Yes. All right. RGH 1.2. Cool runner. We sync the controller here. There we go. As you can see, again, RGH 1.2. Boots like a beast. These are awesome for that. All right. Now. Okay, we should get on the network. We'll boot up into Aurora. There we are. Life is good. Okay, now, same thing, man, same thing. Xbox 360, okay, all of your games, your complement of games and everything, everything that you want, it's all there. Xbox Live Arcade. Your homebrew section. Your classic games. Your indie games. And your emulators. Okay, pretty much all good to go. We'll bring this back here. We'll make sure she's up and online. And there you are, as you can see. Hit the guide button. All good to go. And of course, you know, our cheats. You disable and enable. The uh, startup video that I did covers everything with these with these things okay you need to watch that if you don't watch that you're not going to get online okay it's going to explain to you everything about the console we go from getting it online for the first time all the way through dash launch all the way through aurora how to copy and paste files folders all that stuff i go over ftp i go over xbox 360 neighborhood everything has gone over okay so then that way then you guys know you know, because I mean, I, I had to do that. Be I had to do, I had to do that because the videos were getting long and they're just way too long. So I made that. So please go to that link that's in the description. Click on it. All right. It goes right to my website. You'll see the video. Watch the video. How to start up this thing. How to copy and paste your files and folders. Put mod menus on. All that other happy nonsense. It's all included in that uh, video description in the in the link there. All right. So. Mr. Hudul, thank you very much for your business. I greatly do appreciate it. It's going to get shipped out today. All right. So anyway, guys, listen, I hope that you all have a great day. Be safe, be kind, if not rewind and all that happy nonsense. And, um, you know, I hope that you had a great fourth. And, uh, you know, I got a bunch of consoles I got to build. So, you know, off I go. So anyway, guys, you all have a good one. All right. And I will holler at you later. OK. And you all take it easy and be safe. And I will talk with you all later, okay? Take care, guys. Have a good one.